In this video, we're going to be tackling an interesting subject. How do snakes digest their food? While this may seem quite obvious on the surface, I'm sure that most of you are assuming that they digest food in a similar way to humans. It's actually more complicated than you'd expect. So, sit back and get ready to learn some interesting facts. So, how do snakes digest their food? While this may seem like a silly question, you have to remember that snakes don't chew their food. Instead of doing what humans have been conditioned to do to avoid choking and dying because of swallowing something which is just a little too big to fit down the esophagus, snakes simply swallow their food whole. This is something which you've likely seen on nature documentaries if that sort of entertainment is your cup of tea. Now, let's start with their digestive system. A snake's digestive system actually stretches along its entire body except for the end of its tail, meaning that a snake with a length of 10 feet actually has a digestive tract, which, at least, would probably be around 7 feet in length. The stomach, which sits at about a third of the way along a snake, can stretch drastically depending on the species to be able to fit massive pieces of prey depending on the species of snake, this prey could range anywhere from a cute, fluffy rabbit to a deer. I can only assume that the looks on faces of these deer are somehow more startled than the traditional deer in the headlights idea which we've built over time. So, the stomach can stretch to be quite massive to fit the prey, but what next? How does this prey actually get digested? Well, let's have a look at hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is very strong, and it's actually what mainly composes our stomach acid, too. If you know anything about chemistry, then you're likely to know that it had a pH which is very acidic, sitting at around a level of 3. But, if you also know anything about a human's digestive tract, then you might be a little confused as we've all been taught that stomach acid has a pH of about 2. This is because of some other components such as potassium chloride and sodium chloride, yes, salt. And a snake's stomach acid is no different, containing these components along with some others to help with the process of breaking down the food which, in a similar fashion to horror movies, consists of these animals essentially burning and melting while still alive, probably, because of the acid. Yes, this topic could be nightmare fuel. Sorry if you have nightmares about giant snakes eating you after watching this video. Now, where does all of the energy which is needed to digest this much food come from? If you've ever eaten a large meal, then you're probably aware of how tired and sluggish you can become afterwards. Well, snakes have an interesting system for this. They direct a lot more of their energy into their heart and circulatory system so that their blood is pumped faster and stronger, which in turn gives them the energy which they need to be able to manage this laborious task of somehow digesting animals which are probably bigger than they are. This process of letting the animals burn and melt within the stomach, and of boosting the circulatory system, is something which continues for a long time as you could probably expect given that, if you were to eat an entire cow in one sitting, you wouldn't need to eat anything for at least a few days. The process continues for several days, usually, but could take anywhere as long as a fortnight two weeks, not the video game Fortnite. During this, everything is digested except for anything which contains keratin, that being the protein which hair, fingernails and toenails are composed of. This means that, if you were to provide a snake with a fox, for instance, the only thing which would be left of that fox after two weeks would be its hair and its nails. Scary, right? I almost feel bad for the fox in that scenario, but it's nature, and it's interesting, and that's why you're here. Following the process of melting the animals within the stomach, much like what happens within the human digestive tract, a sort of smoothie of food begins to move down the digestive tract and into the intestines where the useful nutrients within the food are absorbed into the body via the bloodstream, while the useless stuff move on to be excreted. These, useful nutrients include components like protein, vitamins, iron, that sort of stuff, as you're likely aware of, already. It should be noted that one species of snake and only one decided to be different to the rest and actually break its food up into smaller chunks to digest at least when it eats crabs, anyway. I just thought that it would be worth noting as, like everything, there always seems to be an exception, though the large majority, 99%, of snakes do just swallow their food whole instead of chewing it. So, that's the digestive system of snakes. 
I hope that you've all enjoyed this video and that you've found it interesting. I certainly found it interesting to research this topic. There are many differences between all of the animals on our planet, and while there are some similarities between us all, there are also some key differences which make different species into unique creatures, and a snake's digestive system has to be one of the most interesting differences which I've ever seen. If you've liked this video, be sure to let us know by leaving a like, and make sure to subscribe and to ring that notification bell to be notified of any more of this sort of content when it's released. Leave a comment with any suggestions for future topics, too.